In this video, I want to cover how you can change the interface of Geomagic Control X Essentials um, from Geomagic Control X Professional. Um, so when we released Essentials, Control X Essentials, um, it's the same installer as Professional. And basically what you see on screen is governed by what license you have. Um, so you can imagine if you're somebody that needs to show both versions of the software, you would have to deactivate the professional license and activate the essentials license and flip flop back and forth in order to show that because it's the same exact installer. <clears throat> so we came, up, we came up with a solution um, to be able to just change the ribbon interface so you can effectively show the lower version of the software and then toggle back over to Control X Professional. So in order to do that, one method is to come over and click on the ribbon interface anywhere in this white space here. You can say Customize Ribbon. And when you do that, you can come over to one reset if you ever have any uh, sort of ribbon customizations that you have had issues with you can come over to reset or you can come over and hit import and when you hit import you can import the essentials ribbon and then hit OK so now it'll update it'll flash on screen and it updates to show you just what you have the ability to do under Essentials. So one way that I can always check is if I come over to Tools that doesn't have the uh, multi-result browser here. That's one tool that's not there. Um, so you can see now that we are inside of the Essentials ribbon interface. Now if I come over to Customize Ribbon, I can toggle back over by just importing Expert Ribbon. And you'll see that it'll toggle back over. You see that I have more options when I come over to Tools, the Result Navigator, all that is there. So that's one way. If you want to come over and just toggle back and forth using Customize Ribbon. Another way that I came up with is you can kind of hijack the User Profile option here. And user profiles, as you know, if I come over to user profile, you can see that you can select expert or operator. I'll just toggle over to operator for one. This just hides a bunch of things that an operator would not need to see if they're just running the software and evaluating a pre-built inspection process, right? And then if you need to toggle back over, you come over to user profiles and go back to expert. But you'll notice that I have essentials there. So what I did is I just made it so you can come over to user profiles and click on essentials. And it will show you just the essentials ribbons. Now, in order to show you how I did that, I'm going to go ahead and just reset the software so you can see how, how I went about doing that. So I'm going to clear this, this user interface out. And the way you do that is in your install directory, uh, you know, program files, 3D systems, control X install directory, and then license, you can run reset options. And reset options will essentially like remove everything and clean your registry. And I always kind of run it twice just to make sure it works. And then once you do that, I'll go ahead and restart control X. So that's one little tip. You can run reset options whenever you need to reset the software, like back to its default uh, state of install. So you're going to lose all your interface changes if you do that. So when you come in here, you can hit expert and go back to that expert interface, just like we did before. And you'll see that it'll switch over to expert. All right, so now let's go ahead and customize that. If I come over here to user profiles and I come over to edit, what I do is I, I hijack the second button by coming over to manage. And you'll see that you have these profiles here. What I do is I highlight the uh, operator one or expert one. Let's do expert one. 
When I have that highlighted, I just hit new and then I'll call it essentials. So you'll see that I created that with essentials. And in this case, I already had that file there. You know, this template already exists. Do you want to override it? Yes, because that's one that I had before, right? So then once I create that essentials user profile, I can come over to the ribbon and you'll see that it's set for expert ribbon right now. I'll just toggle it over to essentials ribbon. Now these other things, you know, I have expert preferences and all that. I'm just going to leave all those alone because the software is technically still in expert mode anyway. We're just showing the ribbon um, of essentials, right? So now if I hit apply, okay, now I'll just come over here and change it over to essentials. You'll see I'll rename it and you can change that variable right there if you want to. Hit OK. And then we'll toggle over to the Essentials ribbon. So this is a good user-friendly way of toggling over all the time, right? So if I just need to switch back and forth, User Profiles, Expert, and then toggle back over to Essentials. Now, one thing to point out is it's only changing the ribbons inside of the menu because the license gives us access to all the tools inside of the full professional version you will have things in here for example the thing that i always come to check does batch process show up so if i have the ability to run batch process that's not something that's inside of essentials and the other thing I always talk about is result navigator. If the result navigator shows up inside of tools, that's a good indicator that you're in expert mode or the software is licensed for the full professional version of the product. So this is a just a quick way. Again, you can do this way by customizing the ribbon or you can do this way by um, using user profiles. But keep in mind that if you do reset options, then it's going to reset everything back to the way it was. Although it clearly doesn't remove all your files here. Um, so if you come over to those user profiles, you hit edit and you hit manage, your profiles will still be here if you do a reset option. So you can always just come right back in and toggle this over if you ever had to do a reset options. So I hope this video helps um, people switch over between the full expert mode and essentials mode with control X.